hello guys welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for tuning in sonia mbele says she was blindsided in her failed marriage living in a house that wasn't hers blood and water actress sonia mbele says she was blindsided in her failed marriage when she found out the house she was living in for full eight years with her husband at the time and her kids wasn't hers. The mother of four who was married to a high profile attorney, Leslie Sidibe, says although she divorced in 2014, after eight years of marriage, she had checked out from her marriage mentally years before she actually left. As a woman who entered into the marriage to build, to make it work, to stay, I found out things I found things out along the way that I just could not believe. Slowly I started finding out these things that slowly depreciated my love. I'll give you an example. I learned that the house we were staying in was not my house. There was a piece of paper that I found which included an additional paragraph after I had already signed. This paragraph basically said, this is not your house. You found it standing, when in actual fact I found it flat. I was there from digging the foundation. I lived in a house without windows, guys. Now you're telling me that this house isn't mine? I was basically a lodger. People would come into the house and ask, where is the woman of the house? And I would walk down the stairs proudly so because it's me, only to realize actually it's not my house. Sonia Mbele says she found out years into her marriage that the house she shared with the now ex-husband wasn't hers. The 46 years old was speaking candidly in an interview about divorce where she shared that she was actually just a bet that Sidibe had made with his friends. Then I found out I was just a bet. They saw me on TV. There were four of them. It was on your marks, get set and go. Then he hands me divorce papers which was fine and then after handing me papers a few days after he says to me let's fix this i remember sitting there questioning what was there to fix the creative producer of a real housewives of johannesburg said she was in disbelief to find that nothing about her marriage and relationship with sidibe was real i was the first face of a number of luxury brands and I didn't need any financial contribution from him. I created that lifestyle for me. The lifestyle of luxury, of standards. I remember once I had an argument with him because my son was removed from his bed and made to sleep on the floor so his son could take the bed and I lost it. The next morning was Sunday and we had to go to church. The entire drive to Soweto was in silence. We get there and he jumps up and comes to open my door because the show must go on. Hmm. Nah, it was a hell of a marriage. And that is it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to click the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Bye.